What's up guys, my name is Christina here with Street Motivation Magazine and today we are interviewing the amazing Gabby B. Thank you for having me. Of course, thank you for being here. So welcome to LA. I, I heard that you have been in town for some fashion shows. Can you oh tell me about that? Oh my God, it's been so fun. I'm so honored to even have been part of the fashion show performing. Um, all the all the outfits that they do, the designers. Oh my God, everything was just so amazing. So we know that you are a very talented singer, dancer, all around artist, but you're also a designer. How yeah. did that come to be? So I'm. I don't design for other people yet, but um, I do it for myself, um, and it's part of like my culture growing up. Um, I learned a lot from my mom. Um, she taught me how to make my rhinestone bras out of the samba. Um, if you know Brazilian samba, mm -hmm. is a big thing in my culture, and um, I like to ins to include that into my style. I love sparkles and everything, okay. so I like to make my own rhinestone bras and skirts. Very cool. And you said your mom inspires you a lot. Who are your other musical inspirations? Who do you draw from? I love Britney Spears. That's my main girl. Um, I love her performance and just the theatrical um, show in the early 2000s. I also love uh, Christina Galera, Whitney Houston, Jesse J. Those inspired me as vocally. Um, I love practicing just by listening to them um, sing their songs. I think it's amazing. Amazing. And your songs are super upbeat, they're fun, they're stuff you can dance to, but you recently dropped a song called One Too Many. Yes. Please tell me about that because I know it's a little more personal to you. Oh yeah. So um, my fans usually know that I love to be upbeat and very energetic and positive, but there's another side of me that I want to be able to share, and that's like the stories and um, the, the darkness in my past that's happened to me, and I think a lot of people can relate to, like bullying or not having a friend at school or just like anything that made them feel sad at some point in their childhood or life. Um, so I decided to write this song, One Too Many, because there was a lot of things that happened to me in my past and I want people to know this and know that someday they could grow up and become this successful person and the way you were when you were little, it doesn't define you now because who knows, you know? Absolutely. And I know that you are on and popping on TikTok. You are constantly giving your fans something new, something different. How did you build up your following um, to be what it is now? And what would you say to a creator or an artist that wants to engage with the fans in the way that you have? So uh, TikTok, oh my gosh, it was, at first it was like for fun. Um, and then like, I, I like to dance uh, as much as I love to sing. So I started doing some dancing videos and um, one of them just picked up and got like 40 million views and that's how we really started and I started getting popular in India first and then it came to America and, um, and it just kept growing. The more I was consistent on social media, um, the more it kept growing and the more fans like started to know who I am and started to get inspired by my videos and I thought it was just so amazing. But yeah, you have to like continue growing your platform. You can't just stop. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, started off with dancing. If you could pick one artist that you would love to collaborate, your number one artist, who would it be? Um, well, I would I would have said Britney Spears if she was still doing music, but um, I would say from for now, um, I would say Bruno Mars. Ooh. Bruno Mars would be really cool. I think we could have chemistry if we make a song together. Absolutely. And do you have any upcoming shows that you can tell us about? Yeah, I actually I'm actually gonna be performing um, at Fashion Week in Miami for a Swim Week. Um, so I'm so excited about that. I just found that out yesterday and I'm just like, oh yeah. That's <laughs> now I'm thinking about my next outfit that I'm gonna wear for that. So I'm like, oh, hometown. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I know that you've lived in a couple different places. You, yeah. You're from Brazil. You grew up in France. You yeah. lived in Canada for a little yeah. while. And then now you're in Miami. How do you feel like all of that has influenced who you are and um, what your music is now? Oh, it's influenced so much because like I've just, I've been around so much different cultures and like with friends that I've had with just my my surroundings, um, you know, born in Brazil, but raised in France, but then Canada and it's just so much. 
um, that I love culture. I ended up just appreciating everything that I see and um, I'm so aware of it that like I wanted to put it in, into my music because I love these different sounds that I hear. Mm -hmm. It's just so inspiring to me and so like wonderful. Absolutely. And what's next for you? What is something that you are dying to accomplish in 2023? What's the next big goal for you? Um, the next big goal would be, well, obviously to continue inspiring. I want to inspire as much people as I can. Kids, um, I want to release maybe another book. I do have a children's book that I released about bullying. I want to be, be able to share more of my stories and just perform and meet fans. I love that. Thank yeah, you. That's the message that you have as as an artist is very powerful oh, and I feel you. like it's going to touch a lot of people. Thank you so much. with everything you're doing. Thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate it. And where can fans find you? Uh, they can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Gabby B underscore music, G-A-B-B-Y B underscore music, and Spotify, Apple Music, all the streaming platforms. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here. We so appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Of